Welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to use natural light as a source for photography. I'm using this canister to hold up this Neil Guy skull. More on that later. But this is my window. It faces south and it has a little bit of a porch so there's not direct sunlight coming in. This is the perfect way to shoot something. This is my newly 4x4, 4x5 camera that I acquired. It's a graphics camera. And so I just have it pointed down. Anyways, um, <clears throat> shooting the Neil Guy skull, I decided to use like a throw blanket that I found. And since it's black and white, it doesn't matter what color it is. I just wanted to create some depth and some pattern behind the skull. And uh, right now I'm using just a jacket just to block the light while I focus. The Neil Guy skull is really interesting because I got that from South Texas. Um, Neil Guys are originally from India and they were introduced to South Texas back by the King Ranch and so now they thrive in South Texas and they're all over the place. Anyway, so I decided to do that and um, right now what I'm doing is using my application to figure out the time of which I'm going to have the film exposed and so it came out to about a second. Now the camera that I have, uh, the lens is a little busted so I have to manually open and close the shutter every time and so right now I'm trying to figure out how to do that by using the, the timer on my phone and so anyways uh, going back to using the window I mean as you can see this is the only light source that's coming in to the photo and so it's it creates just a look that that it seems like you did it in a studio and as you can see this is my living room so um, yeah it's really really a great way and a cheap way to to shoot film um, I do my own processing at home so these these chemicals I've had them in a jar for about two months and, and the chemicals last a while you can do multiple processes with them I'm using Ilford Delta uh, Ilford chemicals I'm sorry and so uh, I, you know I use the chemicals to exp to process multiple images um, now if you have a major project that you're working on I recommend just using the chemical one time but because this is just for fun you know I use the chemicals over and over again and um, I use my phone as a stopwatch as you can see Doing stuff from home is really cool because you get that instant gratification of seeing the photo. And so if uh, if you have means of doing it, I suggest you process at home. So right here, I'm just watching the film and then I just set it out to the side and let it dry. I see there's something there on the image, so I'm kind of excited to see how it's going to look. After using my squidgy, I just uh, get all get rid of all the of the water as much as I can and just let it hang out to dry. Once that happens, I scan it and this is what it came out to. Now, it wasn't quite what I wanted. Um, you know, the, it, did his, it did the trick, but I just wanted, I guess I wanted a different look. And so um, I decided not to further, you know, uh, shooting the skull and the turkey feathers, like as I mentioned that I'm gonna use. So I did, went to the store and I got like a, just a $2 white cardboard. And uh, also the second time around, I decided to put the camera into portrait mode. I figured it gave, it gave me more uh, space to shoot uh, something as long as a feather and, and a skull. So as you can see here, I, I put the camera in portrait mode and I used a different, a different tripod. It allowed me to go, f you know, just completely have the camera, you know, level to the subject. So as you can see, this is, uh, this looks so much better. Uh, it just gives you this awesome feel of like, you, you only focus on the feather and nothing else and, and everything kind of just drops away you know and, and it gives it it draws attention from the eye so I decided this was a look and I went ahead and used two more feathers to complete and complement the, the triptych 
for all. Now I will say that focusing can be a little tricky, but I'm using a 50 millimeter lens and I just, you know, f flipped it and it allows me to find focus. Now, before I get any heat, I know that uh, I have these backwards. Um, to me, once a photo is exposed, um, I feel the white part of the dark slide should be facing out. Because when light hits the film, it means it got hit with light. So anyways, here's the photo. and. It was everything that I wanted as far as a photo. The two feathers just really complement each other. And now I'm gonna shoot the new guys coat. And basically it's the same white cardboard that I bought at the store. It was like $2, like I said. But um, it was um, it was the trick that I needed to give, you know, to draw more attention to the subject. Again, this was, I mean, it just, I, it kind of speaks for itself, in my opinion. So that's how you shoot using natural light. In this case, a window. So hopefully you like this triptych, this South Texas native triptych to be exact with Rio Grande turkey feathers and a Neil Guy skull. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and see you on the next one.